Refs Chief Howard Webb has summoned all officials to Stockley Park for an emergency summit after two embarrassing, and potentially crucial, VAR blunders in one day. In a scarcely believable cock-up revealed by Sportsmail, bungling video official Lee Mason forgot to put the right lines down to a judge whether a Brentford player was offside in the build-up to their equaliser during Saturday's draw with title-chasing Arsenal the Emirates. And on a dark afternoon for the under-fire system Brighton saw a goal chalked off in a draw at rivals Crystal Palace after VAR John Brooks drew the offside line from the wrong defender. An aghast Webb, who is understood to have reacted incredulously, may now axe the bungling pair after ordering an urgent review in which all options are on the table, according to sources. The Yorkshire-born 51-year-old, who returned to the UK last year after a stint in the US, has ordered all Premier League referees, assistant referees and VAR officials to the meeting on Tuesday. Attendance is thought to be compulsory as Webb seeks to avoid any further catastrophes. Howard Webb has called officials to an emergency meeting after two VAR howlers on Saturday Mikel Arteta's Arsenal conceded an offside goal against Brentford after an error from VAR Lee Mason L, and John Brooks R, could potentially face the axe following their VAR blunders the new chief was forced to contact the Gunners and European hopefuls Brighton to acknowledge significant errors in the VAR process, according to Ref's body PGMOL. Their statement added, both incidents, which were due to human error and related to the analysis of offside situations, are being thoroughly reviewed. The acknowledgement came after both clubs were left incensed by the decisions, potentially holding huge ramifications for their respective ambitions this season. Mason, also 51, failed to spot that Christian Norgard was in an offside position when he crossed for Ivan Tony to level. Mikel Arteta, the Arsenal manager, said principles of defending have to change when the rules change in reference to the decision to allow the goal to stand. Brighton, meanwhile, revealed yesterday morning that they had received an apology from the refereeing body, which they accepted. In their draw, the offside line was drawn from the wrong Palace defender by Brooks after Purvis Astupanen had scored for Roberto de Zerbi's side. As was confirmed to the club by PGMOL last night, a serious error was made in disallowing Purvis Astupanen's goal at Crystal Palace yesterday afternoon, the club said. VAR official Lee Mason forgot to draw off sidelines when viewing Ivan Tony's equalizing goal PGMOL also admitted to making an error in ruling out Purvis Astupanen's goal at Crystal Palace the lines drawn in the VAR room to determine whether Purvis was in an offside position were drawn incorrectly, and the goal should have stood. While hugely disappointed by the error, the club has accepted PGMOL's apology and will not be making any further comment. Brooks was due to be VAR for the Merseyside Derby tonight and Arsenal v Manchester City on Wednesday night. PGMOL declined to comment on whether he would remain in post for the games. It was clear that VAR should have ruled out Ivan Tony's goal against Arsenal on Saturday.